Hi everyone and welcome to Guinness World Records. We're here again with Ron Cooper who just broke the record for most switch grip pull-ups in one minute and most push-ups in one minute with a hundred pound pack. But two was not good enough for this morning. So we're back for some step up records in one minute. You're gonna do an 80 pound pack and then a 40 pound pack, right? Yep. Okay, great. We're here. I'm gonna just let him get right into it. He's had time to rest up between his attempts. I'm here with Kim, our adjudicator. Kim, what are the guidelines that he has to follow to break this record? Uh, well, first, uh, we need a, a standard aerobic step-up setup, which we have here at least 15 inches off the ground, which we've measured. This is pretty much exactly 15 inches. Uh, next, of course, uh, we have to ensure that the backpack actually weighs 80 pounds. Um, and then what we're looking for from each aerobic step up is that he puts one foot on the bench, then the other foot, then puts one foot on the ground, and then the other foot on the ground, which counts as one complete cycle. And what is the record to beat for this? The record to beat for the 80 pound pack is 41. Okay, great. Let's, let's measure this pack. Let's weigh this pack. Okay. Again, he makes it look easy. It's very heavy. <laughs> If you have any questions for Ron or Kim, our adjudicator, put them in the comments. As usual, we may ask them live on the broadcast. Shrey is saying hello from Cambodia to you. Hello, hello. Yep, that is just over 80 pounds, so you are good to go. All right. All right. I'm going to step back and let the pull-up guy do step-ups. He does it all. He also has records. Um, for most push-ups, most pull-ups, most chin-ups. With varying weights of packs, they're all heavy. Anthony says, hi from Wisconsin, go Badgers. Club is here cheering him on as he attempts this record. Most step ups in one minute with an 80 pound pack on his back. And he's got 30 seconds left. And it's done. Ron Cooper's live attempt. You saw it here on Facebook Live. Most step ups in one minute with an 80 pound pack. And I'm here with Kim, the adjudicator, who has the results. We're gonna, wow. we're gonna let you take a seat. <laughs> well, great job, Ron. The record to beat for the most step ups in one minute with an 80 pound pack was 41. Today, you did 54. That's the record. You only had to be 41. You did 54. Yes, you are officially amazing. Hey. Congratulations. Hey. Again, if you're just joining us, he has yet another Guinness World Records title. Ron Cooper, the pull-up guy. We're live outside of Boston. How does it feel? Third one of the day. It's like the day's really even started. Feels great. Feels great. That was a PR for me, so I'm happy with that. Yeah. <laughs> So these ones get me a little more winded. <laughs> I'm going to give them a second here. And again, if you guys have questions for Ron or for Kim, the adjudicator, send them in the comments. If you think you could break a record like this, and you got tough competition, but go to GuinnessWorldRecords.com. You can put in an application. You'll be sent all the guidelines that you have to follow, the ones Kim was running down for us just now. You can see what evidence you have to send in. Um, but we have Kim, our fabulous live adjudicator, who told us on the spot. So, welcome to live. <laughs> okay, so as, as you catch your breath here, yep. 
Um, that was 80 pounds, yep. and you're going to try 40 pounds That's next. Is it easier to always start with the bigger ones and go to the lighter ones as, as you go? I think so. I mean, we'll find out. But usually just because you get a little more winded from doing, believe it or not, from doing the lighter ones because you do more repetitions. Ah. So this is what I've experimented with in practice. So we'll see how it works out today. Yeah. So for people at home who think they might want to try uh, fitness records like this, what would you um, advise them as far as safety? Um, for this, for the switch grip pull-ups, push-ups, pull-ups, what, what do they need to know so they don't hurt themselves trying at home? Yeah, start slow, ease into it. It's just like any type of exercise. You don't want to, if you can't do, you know, more than a handful of pull-ups, you probably don't want to try switch grip pull-ups just yet. Build up to that. Same with push-ups. Start with body weight, build up to weighted backpack. And same with step-ups as well. Start with body weight and then build up to weights. Yeah. So, yeah, ease into it. <laughs> so today we've seen switch grip pull-ups, which was a new record. We've seen push-ups, you're doing step-ups. Are there other ones on the horizon for you um, for the next morning? You just wake up and decide to break a bunch of records. <laughs> um, it's kind of these general categories, I think. Push-ups, pull-ups, and now step-ups are pretty much it for now. I poke around on the website, and if I ever see one, I'm like, hmm, maybe I could go after that. That's how I usually do it. Or I see other people that do push-ups and pull-ups and see other stuff they're doing. That's how I stumbled into step-ups, was seeing what other people had done push-ups and pull-ups did. So maybe I'll give that a try. So. How often do you train for these, or train in general? Took my question right out of my mouth. Sorry, I couldn't help it. <laughs> Every day, seven days a week, I do, I'm doing something. Um, but I usually break it up. So I usually do pull-ups one day. I usually do push-ups. Or I should say I usually do pull-ups two days a week. I do push-ups two days a week. I do legs two days a week. So I'm able to really hit each area really hard. So today I'm just bringing it all together. You're just doing it all. Uh, is the, you know, earlier today, if you missed it, and you can still watch it on our Facebook page, he broke two records, um, push-ups, most in a minute with a 100-pound pack, and switch grip pull-ups. And then we're doing step-ups now. Was, um, was there some reasoning behind that order to go from the arms to the legs? Uh, how did you decide what order to do, knowing you were going to do multiple? Yeah, I mean, I'd say I was, I was cautiously more optimistic about the leg ones. So I figured I'd start with the ones that would give me the most trouble, potentially, and then go to the ones that I felt I had a better chance. Do any given one of them um, tire you out more? Do they take longer to recover for any given part of the body? I definitely get more winded from the step-ups. Okay. Yeah, I, don't, I mean, I'm still, hopefully I'll still be able to do, give a good attempt at the 40-pound pack, but it's more winding. There's, there's, you're just doing more repetitions. I mean, I did 38 push-ups. 23 switch grip pull-ups, so this was 54, so you're just doing more repetitions, just gets more winded. Besides having Guinness World Records titles, do you do any other uh, fitness-related competitions, anything like that? Not right now. I'm pretty much a full-time <laughs> exercise pursuer and sort of, the, of these records. I, I mean, I used to play basketball and, and, and run a little bit, but I seem to have more success with this than, than the other stuff, so I've just been doing these. It's fun. It's something to train for, and it's, it's great to see people in the community get excited about it, and people over the world, I mean, this is awesome, so. Yeah, again, if you're just joining us, we're here with Ron Cooper, who's just broken the third <laughs> record today. Um, you can see his, some of his records that he broke earlier already live on the Facebook page. He's gonna be attempting another one as soon as he catches his breath. We're gonna give him uh, plenty of time to rest here, but he just broke most step-ups in a minute with an 80-pound pack, and then the next one will be with a 40-pound pack. That's correct, <laughs> yeah. So yeah. What, is, what are the guidelines for the 40 record? Yes, let's hear that. I'm going to get the weights ready. Too. While he gets the weights ready, we're going to talk to Kim, our adjudicator okay. here, who's going to tell us the guidelines. Well, actually, the next attempt will look, guidelines-wise, very much like the attempt that we just saw. Uh, but for anyone who's just joining us, um, the requirement is to have a platform that's at least 15 inches off the ground, which this one that we have here is exactly 15 inches. Um, the attempter must put one foot on the platform, followed by the next foot, then put one on the ground, and then the other foot on the ground, which counts as one full cycle for the purposes of the record. And then lastly, and probably most importantly, uh, we need to make sure that the backpack actually weighs the weight that it's required to weigh, in this case, 40 pounds. Of course. And we have Ron here adjusting the weights. We've got a bunch of individual ones in here. And in my mind, it was just a, a big blob, you know, just one, one giant weight. But Cheryl we're Roth them out says, here. good luck to you. Thank you so much, Cheryl. Yes, again, if you have questions, as always, send them in. If you think you could do a record like this, go to GuinnessWorldRecords.com, put in an application, like the Guinness World Records Facebook page, let us know what you want to see, let us know what you like.
We're here for you, live, just outside of Boston. A beautiful day here in Massachusetts. We're here with all of Ron Cooper's excited fans, here to cheer him on, to hopefully break the fourth record of today. So we, it looks like we have the pack ready. We're going to let Kim, our adjudicator, measure it out. That is basically exactly 40 pounds, so um, we have everything we need to start the attempt when, when Ron's ready, of course. Yes, we're going to give him a chance to rest, but kudos on your uh, weight compiling skills here. Exactly 40 pounds, that's what we like to see. Actually, on that last attempt, uh, Ron got 54 step-ups with an 80-pound pack, which is actually two more than the current record with the 40-pound pack. Now, he has the disadvantage of having just completed three amazing attempts, so we'll see if he can keep that momentum up. I don't think it'll stop him. How do you feel, Ron? Good. I'm ready. Those were using my right leg. I used my arms, my biceps, triceps, shoulders, pecs, and back. I haven't used my left leg yet, so we got one more. All right. Simong says good luck. Shabir says good luck. Vinayak says good luck. Ahmed says good luck. Thank you. Here he goes, everybody. Ron Cooper, the pull-up guy, going to the legs. He's not all arms, guys. He's, he's the full package. Most step-ups in one minute, now with a 40-pound pack. Betty says you can do it, Ron. And again, if you're just joining us, we're here in Marblehead, Massachusetts. We're just outside of Boston. And now his record begins. Kim, our adjudicator, is watching nearby. Her clicker ready to go. She's got her timer out. She's watching for that form. All those guidelines are met. He's got 30 seconds left. Here you go, Ron. On, uh, dig in, bud. Stop. Wow. Ron Cooper, everybody, just made a live attempt. Most step-ups in one minute with the 40-pound pack. And he's tired. We're going we're, we're gonna to give him a, a second to, to breathe here after his fourth attempt of today. You can see them all on our Facebook page. While he's catching his breath, um, I'm going to go to Kim, our adjudicator. What can you tell us? I can tell you that, first of all, the record to beat here was 52, and you had a little stumble there at the, at the beginning. I, um, I was, you know, on the edge of my seat trying to see what was going to happen, but you really recovered, and you managed 60 step-ups in one minute. <laughs> Again, crushed the record. His fourth record of today. Time, you are officially amazing. Thank you so much. Congratulations. You so much. <laughs> Guys, Ron Cooper, the pull-up guy, he's beaten four records today. I, I think we should let him rest. I think it's a good day. You know, it's like noon, it's lunchtime. Ron, thanks for coming on. Thank you so much. Thanks if so you much. want to see more of Ron's records, you can just search his name, GuinnessWorldRecords.com. If you want to apply for one, you can do it on the website as well. You'll get all the guidelines. Thanks for joining us, guys. Thank you.